Welcome to week one, Concepts of Case Management. The Commission for Case Manager Certification defines case management as it's a collaborative process that assesses, plans, implements, coordinates, monitors, and evaluates the options and services required to meet the client's health and human service needs. It is characterized by advocacy, communication, resource management, and promotes quality and cost-effective interventions and outcomes. The essential activities of case management as defined by the CCMC are assessment, planning, implementation, coordination, monitoring, evaluation, and outcomes. These essential activities are applied in each of the core components of case management, which are listed as principles of, case, principles of practice, psychosocial aspects, healthcare management and delivery, healthcare reimbursement, and rehabilitation. The focal point of case management in all of its roles is to empower patients giving them and their families access to greater understanding of their disability or disease, a larger voice in the delivery of their care, and more personalized attention to their particular needs. Case managers are responsible for care in more than one practice setting, such as the hospital, outpatient, rehab, long-term care facilities, and, and home care. They are responsible to interact with all healthcare systems in the delivery process, including providers, payer, referral source, and employer, as well as the patient and his or her family, addressing all the patient's healthcare needs on a continuing basis. Managed care and case management are not interchangeable concepts. Managed care is a system of cost con containment programs Case management is a process. Case management can be one component of a managed care strategy. Chapter two, the case manager's universe. Among a case manager's major contacts are hospitals, physicians, surgeons, medical specialists, physical therapists, psychiatrists, pharmacists, behavioral health specialists, practitioners of alternative and Eastern medicine, discharge planners, job counselors, nurse case managers, and many more. The range of facility resources included in hosp includes hospitals, hospices, subacute care facilities, nursing, skilled nursing facilities, outpatient rehab centers, facilities offering illness specific, chronic, alternative and catastrophic care, as well as those facilities offer, uh, offering specialized care such as cancer research, asthma, or spinal cord rehabilitation. Other resources case managers need to be aware of, including nursing services, home health agencies, infusion and respiratory care companies, counseling centers, surgical su supply firms, state and federal, federal agencies and associations targeting problems such as aging, learning disabilities, and physical disabilities. In the HMO arrangement, the physician or practitioners within the HMO group agree to provide set benefits as needed by voluntarily enrolled members for a fixed dollar amount per member. There are other following HMOs staff models, group models, network models, and independent practice arrangement model, also known as the IPA. A preferred provider organization, a PPO, consists of healthcare providers selected for their cost-effective style of practice. These providers also agree to lower their fees for service provided to PPO members. Managed care continues to evolve. HMO members are declining and PPO memberships are increasing. Case managers having significantly more entities to sort out and address as players and rules change and the system becomes more convoluted. Within the last few years, numerous and significant mergers and acquisitions among providers have heard previous distinctions. 
The balance of power in medicine has shifted from the insurance companies to the large providers. From these case managers' perspectives, such mer mergers raise quality of care and negotiation issues. A patient-centered medical home promotes a team-based approach to the care of patients through a spectrum of disease states and across the various stages of life. Overall care is coordinated by a personnel, personal physician and the patient is at the center of all medical activity. This is perhaps the most rapidly growing model of care in decades. The emphasis is on a whole per person orientation and coordination integrated care. Complementary and alternative care treatments are among the most appropriate healing techniques for certain patients. Classified as mind-body-spirit treatment, holistic medicine, and Eastern medicine, these alternative approaches can refer to acupuncture, guided imagery, dietary therapy, Chinese medicine, yoga, and, uh, and are among others. Case managers also need to know about alternative treatment facilities and programs such as residential and expert to programs for teenagers. One method of evaluating an organization is to check whether there is a governing body or written standards of care. Today, there is much greater emphasis on standards of care, facility accreditation, and the good standing of medical practitioners that exi than existed a decade ago. Some examples of accrediting bodies are the rehabilitation facilities are accredited by the Commission of Accreditation of Rehabilitation Facilities. The National Committee Quality Assurance provides accreditation for healthcare organizations and, and for managed care or, organizations in particular. Chapter 14, Case Managing Manager Credentialing and Organizational Accreditation. The Certification of Insurance Rehabilitation Specialist Commission, the CIRSC, in Rolling Meadows, Illinois, defined case management and announced the first credentialing process for case managers in September of 1992. The report drafted at the CIRSC office became the basis for the CCM certification guide. Updated regularly, which includes basic information regarding application for the uh, certified case manager certification. Their interim commission was incorporated as an independent credentialing body and renamed the Commission for Case Manager Certification, CCMC. The CCM credential created a nationally accepted standard for case management practitioners. The CCM exam and certification process are administered by the CCMC. Currently, the CCM is made up of, a que of questions across six knowledge domains, further defined into subdomains in the CCM certification guide. These domains and subdomains include case management concepts, principles of practice, healthcare management and delivery, healthcare reimbursement, psychosocial aspects of care, rehabilitation, professional development and advancement, and case management process. In the 1990s, the American Nurse Credentialing Center, a subsidiary of the American Nurses Association, held its first exam for case management credentials specific to the discipline of nursing, with its primary focus on nurse case management. Later, this became the Certified Nurse Case Manager, RNCM, which is now RNBC. Because of its interest in, in case management and its nature of a cross-disciplinary practice, a number of credentials will evolve. Obtaining a credential that is applicable to only one practice setting may preclude you from different ones in the future. Attaining a case management credential should be the goal of each case manager, management professional. After it is gained, each professional needs to maintain both the competencies and the credential. <laughs>